my dudes welcome back to another video uh, so what we do have planned for today is to work on the EK like I mentioned in the previous videos uh, we do plan on color matching the side skirts as well as the lip um, so that is what we do have planned for today uh, then also uh, like I've also previously mentioned um, I am now sponsored by a friend of mine Tariq um, his company is now called um, Concept Sports so he has um, sponsored me with a shifter plate um, he has also gone the extra way and actually added um, street to track garage um, engraved into the plate as well um, so I'm just going to do a little bit of a unboxing and show you guys the product and explain the product however we are not going to fit the product as yet because like you guys know me I do kind of want to change it up a little bit just to make it mine and just to make it um, how can I say to I would what I would call maybe to Wong spec so yeah that is what I do have planned and then we can fit that so I'm just going to um, unbox um, the concept sport shifter plate and show you guys what it's all about okay my dudes so this is the packaging that the shifter plate comes in comes in a nice little box and then it also comes with a nice little cover um, this is his logo he also worked together with Sharmel that assisted me with my logos um, with his logo and his trademark um, so yeah it's a cool name um, I think he got uh, the inspiration by Street Hyundai if I'm not mistaken that looks really cool um, and then I'm just going to open up um, this little box Hey okay, guys so when you open up the box um, there is a few things that you get this is the plate itself and as you guys can see actually went the extra mile and engraved street to track garage on it as well as he has his logo over here so that is just a cool little extra that he did um, for me it's kind of a collab and then this is another sticker that you can add to your car um, this is also the rubber that he adds that you can basically add around here just to give it a cleaner look and then also um, he did mention that he provides this uh, this is basically kind of a sound dampening he also mentioned that this is actually a sticker part over here so you would basically stick this um, just to cover up um, what you are going to basically see in the inside here as well as um, create sound dampening um, because he said that it does kind of get a little rowdy um, because your gearbox will basically be um, visible and obviously the sound will come through there and then just another extra thing that I got for the EG um, I was actually gifted this um, by a friend of mine Kirk Hooft he's also the dude that actually did a photo shoot with me he is also the dude um, or the owner now of a LA Racing MR2 K20 conversion um, for you guys that are all also following my Instagram handles would have already seen um, we took a little drive um, with the car he also gave me the opportunity to actually drive the car um, so I'll just put a little video over here And then also guys um, in future that car will be featured on the channel and we'll take it for a little bit of a drive and give it how can I say um, a great video so maybe I'll dedicate the whole video to actually doing a review on that car so then just once again thanks Kirk for um, gifting me the skunk to um, um, is it rose gold rose gold gear knob actually goes with one of my watches and then also thanks so much um, Tariq for sponsoring me with the shifter plate I do look forward um, to working with you in future as well so yeah guys that is the unboxing and then um, we're going to start working on the EK okay guys so Michael just pulled in um, just to give you guys a brief as to what we do have planned for today um, we do plan on um, removing uh, the front lip and side skirts and color matching it um, the same 
that we did with the Mugen Grill. You guys can just check that video out. Uh, I think it was um, last week's video. So yeah, um, this is the side skirts that we are going to remove. And like I mentioned in the previous video, um, the can spray that we use for the grill kind of matches really good. And that is why we are going to attempt to use that um, with the front lip as well as the side skirts. guys so here we have uh, the side skirts and the lip uh, all hanged up and prepped ready to be sprayed I just noticed that this one is actually kind of turning over here so I'm just gonna use a different wire and then what we're also going to do is maybe just pull this down so that none of the cars actually get any overspray on them um, and then we can get started Okay guys, so we just managed uh, to finish spraying the lip as well as the side skirts. Um, this is what it looks like. We still do need to add the clear coat. And then also we just um, kind of left the inner part over here, which you won't really see. Um, we just left it just in case we do need um, some silver spray just to do some touch-ups. But if we do end up um, having leftovers, we might just um, spray the inner side as well. And then this is what the lip looks like. I must say um, the outcome is actually very good seeing that it is only can spray. If you guys do agree, please do give this video a thumbs up. Um, it does actually show me that you guys do like what we are doing to the EK.
snipers, man, bro. Okay, my dudes, this is now what the Mugen uh, EK looks like. This is the front lip with the grill that we obviously sprayed, and this is the side skirts. And then Michael's just putting the other side skirt on, on that side. Let me show you what it looks like. I know it is kind of dark, so I'm going to wait for tomorrow to show you guys a better view of what it actually looks like. And so that I can give um, what we've done some justice. So yeah, if you guys do like what we have done to the Mugen EK, please do give this video a thumbs up. It does give us an indication that you guys are enjoying the EK content as well. Um, and then in future, what I do plan on doing is maybe just um, moving the lip a little bit in, more in on the side. Uh, maybe just adding another um, soft dapper. So that is something that we might just do in future as well. Yo my dudes, if you're watching this, just like to thank you for making it to the end of my video. So as you guys have seen, we have finished up color matching the EK side skirts as well as the Mugen front lip. If you guys do like what we have done to the EK, please do give this video a thumbs up. It does give me an indication that you guys are enjoying the videos. And then what we also do have upcoming for the EK is to basically, I uh, wouldn't say color match the rear garnish, but if you guys recall in previous videos, we have um, sprayed the rear garnish with some plastic tip. So we are going to attempt to remove uh, the plastic tip so that everything can be silver again. And then going forward, if everything does go as planned, um, I do plan on meeting up um, with another YouTuber to do a video collab. Once that is done, um, we can then start with the EG. As you guys do know, I have a lot of parts stocked up for the EG, as well as a few new mods coming as well. So yeah, guys, just want to say thanks again for watching my videos. I uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.